Hello everyone, this is AJ and welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new video. Yep, the next letter in my bi-weekly alphabetical collection series. Today we're going to be taking a look at the letter I and all those Blu-rays and 4K still books that I have that fall under that letter. So let's get started. Okay, yeah, so I'm doing this every second week, um, obviously like I said, we're up to the letter I now, and that's what I'm going to go with now. And um, all those films beginning with the letter I. So, uh, before I begin, hit the subscribe button. Why not join the channel? Join the fun. Um, maybe leave me a comment down below afterwards. Give me a thumbs up, all that sort of stuff. But let's just get on. Let's just get straight into I. So, first film we have is a musical from Disney, and that is Into the Woods. Yeah, I didn't mind this. Fantastic cast. Mel Streep, Emily Brunt, Blunt, Brunt, what am I saying? Um, James Corden, Anna Kendrick, Chris Pine and Johnny Depp. Uh, yeah, it, was, it wasn't It was a bad film at all. Then we come to Ice Age 3, Dawn of the Dinosaurs. This is the only Ice Age movie I've got. Um, I did like the first one, the second one was alright. I don't think I've seen this third one, it's primarily for the kids. Um, the others I'd have had on... DVD, I didn't upgrade them or anything, and don't really need them. Um, next up is, that's a J, I stand for the next video. Um, it's a Wonderful Life. Yeah, uh, first time I watched this was um, Christmas, just gone. Yeah, I've done a review for it as part of my Christmas series. Um, it was good enough film I don't see what all the fuss is about it um, I, I it's only really the last 20 minutes or so where it delves into the realm of this Twilight Zone style Christmas ending otherwise it could have been any time of year but yeah for some reason it's lorded over but there you go I don't understand that but that's just me um, then we have I've got two copies of Interstellar here. So the 4K one, which is still sealed because I've recently picked it up off of a, a, a Zavi promotion, free for 30 quid. Um, I do love the film. I really like it. Um, I wanted it in 4K, hence why I've got it. Um, but I also have this Blu-ray um, Digibook edition for it as well. Um, you know, with all blurb and stuff in it. Photos, pictures, yeah, and two discs. Um, that's quite nice. Then we have Vince Vaughan and Owen Wilson in the internship. I didn't mind this, it was quite fun. Um, I like both of these, both the two of them. Um, yeah, enjoyable. Um, and two films here now. In between is one, and obviously in between is two. I'll tell you that in a second. So in between is one movie. Um, and the in-betweeners too, still book. Um, yeah, they're okay, they're okay. They're not as good as a TV series. Generally when a TV series turns into a film series or they try and do films out of it, it seems like an overstretched episode and, and that's no different here. But when you watch the TV series and you follow on with these, it's nice to revisit those characters and, and that sort of thing. So yes. Um, then we have a Blu-ray of Inglorious Bastards. I will come back to this film because I've got another version in my prestige sort of still booky sets and that sort of thing to take a look at. Um, but I love this film. Um, I think Brad Pitt is fantastic in it. Christoph Waltz is brilliant. Um, it's a really good Quentin Tarantino movie. Um, now this one here, a bit of a story behind this. So I, Tonya. Yeah, with a slip. Um, exclusive HMV slip. Um, this was gifted to me by Matt over at Matt V's Movies. Um, go check out his channel. We were up in London, we met up and um, I saw this in, in CEX. I really liked liked it for the slip. Um, I mean, good film, don't get me wrong. Um, but, you know, just the slip sold it on this one. I think it's fantastic. So I put it in a cellophane case because the silly sticker. You can't get, the, yeah, you get the sticker off and you're left with a load of residue that I can't get rid of. So it was easier for me to put the sticker. No, no, sorry, it was a CEX. The CEX sticker was here. So you can see the residue left behind of the CEX sticker like so. So I moved the HMV sticker 
and stuck it there over it but obviously the CEX stick is slightly larger that was there and I can't get rid of the residue so I put it into a plastic case because at least if that sticks to the residue it ain't going to collect dust and, and grime and things like that so yeah so Matt over at Matt Fee's movies fantastic um, next up we have Disney Pixar Inside Out on Blu-ray yeah it's good The Island um, a, a Michael Bay movie starring Ewan McGregor and Scarlett Johansson and I think Sean Bean's in this one he is no doubt he dies um, loose discs in there they're actually the DVD that's actually the DVD from um, when I had it on DVD I sort of just stick them in yeah, um, I am legend, Will Smith. Um, I prefer the um, the alternate ending cut where he lives. Um, it's a more of a downbeat ending than the one where he dies. Yeah, the di the ending where he dies, the theatrical version, is more upbeat. The ending where he lives is more downbeat. Like there isn't much hope left for society or anything like that. And I preferred that ending for it. Um, we're meant to be getting a sequel, apparently. How that's going to work, I don't know, especially because of the slap. Um, yeah, we'll see. Um, next up, Eddie Murphy, Owen Wilson, Famke Jansen in I Spy. I was glad when this got a Blu-ray release. Um, I was right on it. Um, I did enjoy this film back in the day. And then we have Independence Day. 4K release, ID4. Um, again, a film I love. I really enjoy this film. Um, it just works for me. It really does. I know people have issues with it or whatever, but come on, this is one of the biggest films of all time. This was fantastic. Um, so cinematic. And, and it's just... Oh, soundtrack as well. David Arnold, I think it is. is just oh, spot on. Then we have here, from 1987, I believe, Dennis Quaid, Inner Space. A very enjoyable film. Still stands up today. Really good. Martin Short, Meg Ryan. Um, a, a fun, fun time. Then we have Mark Wahlberg, Instant Family, which was okay. It was enjoyable. I like Mark Wahlberg. He's an enjoyable actor um, when he doesn't phone it in. Um, you know, I, I can watch him. And this film was, was pretty fun and enjoyable. And then we have, from the Criterion Collection, The Irishman. Yeah, um, Robert De Niro, um, Al Pacino, Joe Pesci, Martin Scorsese film. I've yet to watch it. That's the one where they're de-aged. Um, now I have here the 4K edition of The Invisible Man. Um, it's really enjoyable, good film. But not only that, I have... This edition of it as well. Um, is it Blue Fans? I believe it is. I think J-Card. Uh, J-Card's still up on the shelf. But um, Blue Fans edition. Oh no, J-Card's in the back, sorry. With the little card attached to it. Um, 525 out of 850, that one. Um, again, it's a still book. A different style still book. Um... Yeah. Oh. But it's got a really lovely outer box. I will say that this box is just spot on. It's superb. Um, that is really nice. So, yeah, let's move on. A few still books now. So, first up, keeping with that Invisible Man, is The Invisible Man. Yeah, the original version, the Blu ray, um, with art by Alex Ross on the cover. Um, who's a but who I know primarily as a comic book artist. Um, a really nice edition, still sealed. Um, then we move into a little bit of Marvel territory. Any guesses under I? So Iron Man 1, um, this is the Mondo steelbook. Um, I've done a video showing all the Mondo steelbooks. Then we have Iron Man 2. Again, Mondo steelbook. Then we have... I've got two Blu-rays for Iron Man 3. I don't think I've got Iron Man 3 on 
4K actually. I'll wait for the Mondo. So Iron Man 3 there like that. I got this for pennies, this, this release, CEX pickup. And then I've got this one for Iron Man 3 as well, which is like the arc reactor on it and that on the back. Um, so yeah, so two Iron Man 3 steelbooks. I prefer that one over that one. Um, yeah. And then we have uh, James Franco and Seth Rogen in the interview. Just funny enough, you know, a lot of controversy around the time it came out, but really that's all used for publicity. Come on now. Um, we know the truth. And still sealed is Iron Sky, the director's cut, um, with a, a embossed title on it. Um, yeah, Nazis on the Moon. The Moon Nazis are back. But these were quite fun. They're meant to be doing a third one. I will come to these again in a bit. Um, but they're meant to be doing a third one, so I, last, I heard. Um, we'll see how that goes. Feature This features 20 minutes of additional footage, 32-page concept art book, and 75-minute making of um, Iron Sky. So, yeah, nice still book. Okay, so next up we have the Indiana Jones, The Complete Adventures um, Blu-ray set. Um, fantastic. And... I do actually have the 4K um, steelbook set. I didn't pay full price for this. Um, yes, so I got it some other way. I don't, won't go into it, but yeah, I got it some other way. So that's that. And then I do have steelbook sets for it, chapter one and two, like this, in this lovely steel case. Um, I did have the Amaray releases, but I sold them on um, after I got this. Not 4Ks, they were just standard Blu-ray releases. Um, so that's a really nice set. And also, keeping with it, I have this VHS box version, um, which is a Blu-ray inside um, of the original IT TV miniseries films. Or film, shall we say, with Tim Curry. Um, yeah, I like this. I like the sort of aged look of it that they've done with it, um, the sort of staining on it. It, it. Yeah, really nice, really nice set. Yeah. Then here we have the Blu ray release to this set of Iron Man. Then we have Iron Man 2. And Iron Man 3. So, not too many left now. I is not a, a big letter of the alphabet, um, for want of a better term. And then we have Benedict Cumberbatch with Keira Knightley in The Imitation Game. Yeah, the true life story of Alan Turing, the guy who um, helped um, decode the Enigma machine, the main brains behind it. Um, yeah, really good film. Then we have... Independence Day, the Blu-ray version, the 4K obviously came after. And then Independence Day, Resurgence. Yeah, I mean, you can have one film that's fantastic and then a film that's not. Um, then a small film um, starring Hilary Swank, Rose Byrne, Clara Rugard, and this is called I Am Mother. Um, this is the German release, I believe. Yeah, because it has the reversible sleeve with the age rated there. Um, it's a sci-fi film um, with a robot. And this young girl is raised by the robot. Um, it's worth watching. It's, it's a really good film. Uh, then we have Robert De Niro and Anne Hathaway in The Intern. And I didn't mind it. Um, I didn't mind it. Dropping back to Iron Sky. Um, here we have a Blu-ray release with the slip, which came before the steel book, the director's cut. But this one has got a 32-page um, production booklet in it about the film. Um, yeah. It's a silly film, obviously. But it was fun enough. In 1945, the Nazis retreated to the moon, and now they're coming back. And then we have the sequel, 
which was done. Um, Iron Sky, The Coming Race. And this delves into sort of like the hollow earth. Um, Nazis is on the moon sort of delves into like the hollow moon sort of theory and that sort of thing. Um, then you've got the hollow earth sort of theory in this one where, yeah, the dinosaurs still running rampant. And, you know, like I said, they're doing a third one. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know where that's at. Um, and then we have this edition here of Inglorious Bastards. I said we'd come back to it, which is the big one. I'm not going to open it now. It's the Complete Bastards edition. Um, it contains two steelbook sets, um, photos, art cards, all this sort of stuff. I have done an opening for this on the channel. Um, yeah, it's, it's a really nice release. Really, really nice. Um, yes, and then we have here, for my last item, the film Inception. Only it's in this little um, box, um, like so, like a little carry case. Um, and in there you get you get the film, um, a little spinner, like at the end of the film, and a port automated. This is the instruction manual for the sort of fake time mind machine thingamajig from the, um, from the film and that's a lenticular a lenticular sleeve there yeah so that's it that is everything under the letter i so yeah not too long not too much so come back in two weeks um and you'll catch me with jay um, yeah, we'll see what Jay has to offer. Again, Jay, it doesn't sound like it's going to be too many. Um, but time will tell, we'll see. Say, so, Jay, thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Take care, all goodbye.